Hello guys, oh my gosh, it's been a minute because we had, that looks silly, doesn't it? Because we, it was, hold please. Because it was, let's see, I was in Illinois, I was in Great Lakes, Chicago Great Lakes, uh, for my stepdaughter's Navy boot camp graduation, which was amazing, so hands up to her. And so I was on vacation, not vacation, but I was away. And then it was Thanksgiving break and I had family in town. And so it just, with the cooking and decorating and all that stuff, I just didn't have a chance to go live. So I apologize that this is um, my first live in like a week or two. But I am here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you that are new, my name's Alexandra. I'm founder of Life with Herpes. I have been speaking, and oh, my lips are really chapped. Um, I've been I've been speaking publicly about my herpes diagnosis diagnosis since 2017. I was diagnosed with HSV one in 2003 and HSV two in 2011. So I've been living with herpes for two decades. Oh, I love the hearts. I'm gonna tap the screen just so, since you guys remember reminded me. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending your Monday after Thanksgiving with me. But I've been talking publicly about my herpes diagnosis, diagnosis since 2017 because when I was diagnosed in 11, as you guys know, if you are diagnosed with herpes, you know how isolating it is, you know how lonely it is, you know how terrifying it is, you know how destructive that diagnosis can be. It, it really is, it is destructive. It is, um, it tears you apart. And so because of that, I don't want anybody to feel that way. I don't want anybody to be held back. I don't want anybody to change their life because of it. I don't want anybody to feel like they're not worthy. I don't want anybody to feel like they're unlovable um, or not enough. And so because of that, I've been going public about my diagnosis to help people like yourselves like myself as well to go through this. So if you've been live with me in the past, if you've been live, you know that I get hundreds of questions. I do my best to answer them in the order in which they are received. So it's a first come first serve and feel free to start asking your questions. With that being said, did you guys order the salve? I had a pre-sale, it was two weeks ago now. We launched the what is it called? The Fix It Salve, the Herpes Fix It Salve. It is literally like the best thing since sliced. Well, I think all of our Secret Society wellness products are the best thing since sliced bread. Each one is slightly different. Each one has slightly different um, benefits. What I like about the Fix It Salve is it can really be used for anything, um, but it has Manuka honey in it. And that's an ingredient that I don't have in other products. And so it's our first salve that we've created and it, it like really is awesome. So um, it is for sale. I do have it linked in the bio. You can check it out. If you didn't order yours for the pre-salve or the, the pre-launch, it will be shipping next week just because it is brand new to the market and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. All right, someone's saying my first outbreak was uh, early October and now is your third outbreak. How do I suppress it more? Okay, so. Here's the kind of frustrating thing about this virus, but it can be good news. So when the HSV virus typically is new in our body, it's the most active. I like to look at it as you just had a roommate move into your house and you now have to tell the roommate the rules and expectations that you have for your roommate. So this virus has moved into our body and our immune system is like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to deal with you. So the virus is like, yes, this is a party. You haven't figured this out. I'm just gonna have an outbreak. We're just gonna have blisters. We're just gonna have a blister party, right? So expect your first year to have the most outbreaks or the majority of your outbreaks. Now, does that mean that it's not possible to go through a season in your life where you have lots of outbreaks? That is possible as well. You could be going through an immune system change, you could be going through a hardship, things like that. But in general, the older that you get or the longer the virus lives in your body, the less likely you are to have outbreaks. Um, for me personally, in my first year, I had a lot. It was like every other week it felt like. You get rid of one, you get the next. I mean, it was just constant. So what I did not know then that I do know now, well, one thing I started doing is I started going to acupuncture and that's something that can be really helpful for just overall boosting your immune system and just keeping your body 
in um, like a fit check. Um, but there are some natural things that we can do. Number one, if we've heard of lysine or arginine, they're essential amino acids, they're proteins that our body has to consume in order to live fully, in order for our bodies to function. Arginine, unfortunately, fuels the HSV virus. For whatever reason, the herpes virus loves it, it fuels it, it propels it, it escalates it, it is like lighter fluid for the virus. So if we consume foods that are high in arginine, for some people, it can trigger outbreaks. So that's something to look at. And then on the reverse side, lysine is kind of the like fire extinguisher to the arginine. So it helps block the arginine, it helps block the, the replication of the virus. So I take lysine supplements from Natural Cure Labs. These are non-negotiable for me. I take them daily. They significantly help. Um, help me, I've been taking them, let's see, I've been taking lysine probably for about six, seven years now, and I've been taking the Natural Cure Labs since, I don't know, maybe the last four years, and so I've taken lots of different types of lysine. These are the best out there that I've found. So I have them, if you wanna check this brand out, it's linked for you, you also get a discount. But, um, I have a free ebook for you if you want to find, because I was talking about lysine, I was talking about arginine, and you're like, well, what foods are high in arginine? What foods are high in lysine? I have it linked for you. It's a 21 page out, uh, 21 page outbreak. It's a 21 page ebook. It's free. You can download it and just check it out if you want to learn a little bit more about what's high arginine, what's high lysine, like things high in arginine are nuts and peanuts, high lysine are fish, um, seafood. Uh, dairy, so there's a lot of things that we can do and learn to balance in order to help that. Um, guys, thank you for the follows. I saw some people following and thank you for the shares. If you know somebody that has herpes that needs to hear this information, I am, like I said, I am here speaking about it, sharing my life so that you don't have to feel so alone, so that you don't have to feel so ostracized, so you don't have to feel like, OMG, my life is over. So I'm gonna just give the taps for those of you that are joining and thank you for the ones that have shared thank you for the ones that have followed i appreciate you and i'm full of gratitude that you're spending your morning with me okay um someone's saying they had not had outbreaks in four months and now you've had two in one month why is that so everybody's body is going to be different i don't have a specific answer for you from what i've learned in my body when i get back-to-back -back outbreaks a couple of things have happened. Maybe I was burning the candle from both ends. So it's holidays or at least starting. Maybe you're, maybe it's a time, maybe you have a season where you're stressed. Maybe your job is stressful. Maybe you're a student. Maybe you're in finals. Um, maybe you've moved. Maybe like the change in weather. Maybe you've had a change in your diet. So those things can, can really cause stress. Another thing that I notice when I get outbreaks also, so not only am I maybe distracted stress-wise, like, oh, like I just got my master's and whenever I'd start a new class, I'd be like, OMG, I'm so, like, I'm, I can't, I, I had my blinders on, I couldn't do anything else. I'd get outbreaks, I didn't, I didn't breathe, I didn't take care of myself, right? So the thing I'm gonna bring up, and this may sound silly, may feel silly, um, so it is um, gratitude. I know that may sound so silly, but are you practicing gratitude? Practicing gratitude in your life will change things. It'll it'll absolutely change your mindset. So instead of being in this mindset of Eeyore, we all know Eeyore that's like, oh, I have herpes, and Eeyore, right? I have an Eeyore. I was Eeyore for two years. Go, okay, I have an outbreak. All right, what do I need to learn from this? What am I learning from this? Like I said, my body is trying to tell me something. Am I run down? Do I have something? Like I have a hypothyroid, I have slow thyroid. When I am stress, stressing my body, it needs to sleep, it needs to take care of itself. And if I don't listen to it, guess what happens? I get an outbreak, right? So I would look at that in a couple ways. Um, if you are not familiar with lysine, like I was just talking about, I would look into lysine. Um, I would look into, the, so this company, it's Monolaurin. There's Monolaurin, lysine, and angiographis. So these are my three non-negotiables when I talk about herpes, when I talk about immune system, when I talk about helping prevent outbreaks. Angiographis is this extremely potent with the HSV virus. It, it, um, it's just really, it's, it's a really potent um, extract for our immune system and specifically for the HSV virus. 
Then we have monolaurin, which is lauric acid. It's found in human breast milk, and it's why our babies can fight colds and you know they, they build their immune system. So we get this from coconuts, and what it does is it helps break down the exterior um, the the exterior bottle or the bottle. What am I saying? It breaks. HSV is an enveloped virus, which means it has an outer shell. So I'm using the bottle as an example. That's why I said bottle. So imagine that there is an outer shell to your, your virus. Our immune system can't penetrate through this bottle, right? So monolaurin basically dissolves the outer shell of the virus, which allows our immune system to go and penetrate. So it's not just for HSV, it's for all enveloped viruses. It also helps other bacterial infections. So monolaurin is extremely potent. And then as you know, I was talking about lysine. That's a non These are non-negotiables for me. I take them daily, but lysine is like the number one non-negotiable because if I feel like I, I miss it or I'm out or I don't take it or I take off on vacation and forget it or whatever and don't have it, I start to feel the prodrome. So this again is a non-negotiable for me and, and, and non-negotiable. It's all linked for you if you want to check it out. I'm seeing that some, um, they're notifying me that some of the comments were filtered to protect the community. So make sure you keep your comments G rated, even PG can be a little risky. So if you, I'm not answering your question, please ask it again. Um, hey, I don't like to know when can we be back to being intimate after an outbreak. So according to the CDC, according to WebMD, according to Planned Parenthood, they're gonna tell you wait seven days post your outbreak, like once it's cleared up, that's what they're gonna tell you. Um, and that's gonna be the safest. For me personally, and this is what I personally do, I recommend you do your own research, of course. Um, I wait till I don't feel it and I can't really see it. So like when I touch it, it's not tender anymore. Um, and I usually wait about 24 hours post. Now I'm at the point where I am married, my husband's fine, I'm not dating, you know, it's, it's those types of things. It's where I am in my relationship and what works for my relationship. Um, if this is something that's very casual, if you're in a very, um, yeah, very casual relationship, I would probably wait the full seven days. Can you explain the tapping method? Yay! Okay, I'm glad that somebody's into tapping. Okay, um, do you know men's, so I'm going to get back to tapping, but let me go through a few more herpes questions. Do you know men's symptoms? So the virus let's just talk about herpes symptoms in general. So when we first get the virus, we can feel flu-like symptoms. We can feel achy. We can just feel run down. We can feel exhausted. We can have swollen lymph nodes, whether it's, you know, here under our arms and our groin, um, just overall achy and tired. And you're like, I don't know what's going on. I just don't feel right. Maybe a, maybe a little fever. So that's just the overall in our body. The virus can look like a couple different things. It can be one blister, it can be a cluster of blisters, or it can be a paper cut. So it doesn't matter if it's a male, female location, it can kind of look different in that situation. Um, it can also look like an ingrown hair. But for men, women, it, it doesn't really matter where it's located. It can be on the genitals or it can be around the area. It can be really anywhere, I'll stand up. It can really be anywhere like in the boxer region. Um, it can be on, on, on the top of your thigh, it can be on your hamstring, it can be on your inner thigh, it can be on your butt, it can be on your lower back, it can be below your belly button. So men and women have very similar uh, uh, symptoms, it's just a matter of the location. Are you married? If so, where did you meet your husband and how did you tell him? Yes, I got herpes because we were colleagues and I came into the office and I was white as a ghost and he asked me what was wrong. So um, I told him that day and then fast forward like a couple years later when we started dating, that was one of the things we discussed, but it wasn't the like I had to disclose. Now I would go to other relationships, that was harder for me. I had to, like one guy I waited three months before I disclosed and I disclosed and it worked out. We dated for I think two years, but um, anyways, I can talk about that in other stories. I wanna try and get through these questions because I really wanna get to tapping not that talking about my husband isn't important. Um, lysine makes mine worse. I spoke to the doctor and he said it can happen to some people. That's interesting. So maybe go off the lysine. I would maybe look at arginine, oh, excuse me, not arginine. I'd look at monolaurin. That might be really helpful with just overall viral infections and bacterial infections. 
You've had it for nine years and at the beginning I didn't have a lot of outbreaks and now I have a lot. Again, your body might be going through something um, and potentially you might have some other like underlying infection or underlying something going on as we change. Our immune system does change every seven years. So that could be happening. Um, you don't have pain or itching with the blisters are there. I've had that experience well as well where like you don't even feel it and there's a blister. Um, yes, my husband is still negative. He still does not have herpes. Um, does it affect your kidneys? Um, herpes does not, from my understanding, herpes doesn't infect your kidneys. The, excuse me, the antiviral, which is Valtrex, Valcyclovir, Acyclovir, they can have effects on your kidney or liver um, long-term. So that's something you may wanna look into or ask your doctor or just get blood work done to see how you're doing. So that could potentially be some something to look at. Um, but it, yeah, that there can be. As far as lysine, I haven't heard that. It is a supplement that we eat. We eat, we, we consume lysine daily in our diet. So that is something, okay. Can you file a lawsuit to your partner if they lied about it? Okay, I, it depends on what state you're in, number one. Um, so I don't know about the state you're in. I'm personally against suing a partner, and here's why. Number one, it took, like, here's how I look at it. I decided to be intimate. It was my decision, right? I did not ask my partner to see his test results. I trusted him. I went on a relationship that had trust. That was my mistake. And in, and in my partner's situation, he didn't know he had it. However, if it would be very different if I asked for the test results, if I looked at the test results, if he gave me false test results, that'd be very different. But because I made the decision to be intimate without asking to see test results, I take my own responsibility for that. So I am responsible for being intimate with somebody that had herpes. Now, am I happy about it? No. Do I like having herpes? No. Was I pissed off about it? Yeah. Was I angry? Yeah. All those things. But I still made that choice. So when we look at it that way, I, I, at the end of the day, I can sue and I still have herpes. We also can sue when we go to court. It's going to be a can of worms. They're going to go back to your, they're going to do a deposition. They're going to go back to, they're going to do discovery. They're going to go back to your past partners. They're going to go back to your whole intimate relationships and like do you really want people knowing your personal business like that i don't yes i talk that i have herpes on social media but i'm not talking about my intimate intimate relationships i was just watching um pam anderson's documentary documentary <laughs> documentary okay, i don't know how to, don't know why i didn't have to say that documentary and when her tapes with tommy lee got out like it destroyed her and it, like, I just wouldn't want that out about me. HPV is human papillomavirus. HPV, HIV, and HSV, lots of H's, lots of, lots of V's, they're all different. So um, HIV is, hum I don't even remember what it is, hemoindeficiency virus or something. Um, HPV, human papillomavirus, and HSV, her HSV herpes simplex virus. So they're all different viruses. You've had it for five years and rarely ever get outbreaks. That's awesome. How long will it take to get rid of the blisters? Um, if it's brand new, it can take, if it's, like, if it's like your first outbreak, it could take up to three weeks. Um, the longest I've really had is like 10 days and that's like when my immune system was shot. Now they last for like a couple days, like three to five days. Guys, I have to jump on another call. I'm really wish I could stay on this call with this live with you all. Um, I apologize that I have to get off. I really want to make sure I get through the questions. Prodrome. Prodrome um, are symptoms that we have leading up to the virus. So it can be itchy, tingly, sw swollen lymph nodes. Gosh, my voice. I've been talking all morning. So swollen lymph nodes. Um, yeah. Itchy, tingly, kind of like I want to say like a like a spider maybe walking on your skin, like kind of that that type of feeling. Um, 
that would be the protem that's leading up. What are my three must-haves? I let, These are my three non-negotiable supplements that I take, and they're from what's formerly known as Natural Cure Labs, now known as Palmera. It's Andrographis, it is Lysine, and it is Monolaurin. So these are my three non-negotiables. They're all linked for you in the bio if you want to check them out. And then we do have a new product out. It is the Herpes Fix-It Salve. It's amazing. It's linked for you as well. I don't have someone to show you. All right, guys. Um... I will try and go live later today because I want to, you guys have been asking about my husband, you've been asking about tapping, you've been asking about a lot. So I will do my best to go live later today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful that you're here with me. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.